got sent like a bunch of Tupac acapellas and went crazy with them. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. One of the things I learned from Tupac was whenever he was like, I don't know how he just always knew the right words to say on, on the right chords. You know, there was a rumor that a payment went you know, from Puffy's camp, and they were supposed to go to Keefe D and the Southside guys. The controversy surrounding Sean Diddy Combs continues to intensify as resurfaced remarks he made in response to Eminem's serious allegations about Tupac Shakur's assassination bring him back into the public eye. The saga began anew in 2018 when Eminem released a diss track suggesting that Diddy was behind the hit that led to Shakur's tragic death in 1996. This bold claim reignited long-standing rumors and added a new layer of scrutiny to Diddy's already complex public profile. Diddy's cryptic response to these allegations was broadcasted during an appearance on Joe Biden's YouTube series, where he ambiguously stated that the matter was handled. Now, it was this doc Documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. Accompanied by an enigmatic shrug, this vague and nonchalant reaction has only fueled further speculation and debate among fans, critics, and the media, leaving many to ponder the true implications of his words. Amid this renewed controversy, Diddy faces severe legal challenges including a federal sex trafficking investigation. He has vehemently denied all allegations, describing them as baseless and harmful. The situation was exacerbated by recent Homeland Security raids on his properties in Los Angeles and Miami, though Diddy was not present at either location during the incidents. The impact of these raids was felt strongly within his family, as Diddy's sons, King and Justin, were reportedly detained, highlighting the extensive nature of the legal scrutiny the Combs family is undergoing. These events contribute to a tumultuous period for Diddy, as he navigates both the court of public opinion and actual legal battles. As the situation unfolds, each new revelation and legal hurdle casts a longer shadow over Diddy's legacy and reputation in the music industry. The continued public interest and media coverage of these controversies suggest that the saga surrounding Diddy is far from over, with potential implications for his personal life, his business endeavors, and his standing in the music community. The drama surrounding Sean Diddy Combs intensifies as the unresolved assassination of Tupac Shakur casts a growing shadow over his legacy. Despite Diddy's attempts to dismiss the allegations, Recent reports suggest that Eminem believes federal investigators might have found crucial evidence linking Diddy to Tupac's death during the recent raids on his properties. These developments have evidently left Diddy uneasy, facing increased legal scrutiny and public speculation that could potentially dismantle his well-maintained public persona. Adding to the complexity, former FBI agent Phil Carson, who previously led the investigation into Shaker's murder, has indicated that there might be a significant breakthrough. He mentioned Dwayne Keffy D. Davis, a central figure long implicated in the murder, who is now facing serious charges and might be considering a cooperation agreement with authorities. Such a move could potentially implicate Diddy in the decades-old crime, suggesting that Davis might provide information in exchange for leniency. Carson highlighted the changing dynamics within criminal justice, where traditional codes of salience are increasingly replaced by strategies of self-preservation. This shift is markedly different from past practices observed in organized crime groups like the Italian Mafia, where silence was strictly maintained. Carson's comments suggest that Davis could be ready to break his long silence, potentially revealing deeply held secrets that could have significant implications for Diddy. The music industry and its observers are now abuzz with speculation about what kind of evidence might have been uncovered during the raids on Diddy's properties. Insiders are particularly curious about any documents, communications, or financial records that could directly or indirectly connect Diddy to the crime. There are whispers about possible payments orchestrated by Diddy for the hit on Tupac, echoing long-standing rumors and adding layers to the narrative that could further complicate Diddy's legal challenges.
The potential for such revelations has not only legal but also historical implications, potentially reshaping the understanding of one of the most infamous events in hip-hop history. As the situation unfolds, the music industry watches closely, aware that the outcome could send shockwaves far beyond the personal fate of one mogul, affecting perceptions and legacies across the sector. The tumultuous history of the East and West Coast rap scenes in the 1990s marked by intense rivalries and violent clashes, casts a long shadow over current events surrounding Sean Diddy Combs. The assertion by former gangster Mob James that Diddy was driven by fear and competition with Suge Knight adds a complex layer to the narrative, especially in light of the historical animosity between Death Row and Bad Boy Records. This backstory is now being revisited as new allegations emerge, suggesting a deeper involvement by Diddy in some of the era's darkest moments. The federal investigation into Diddy has gained momentum, with the recent detainment of his sons during raids possibly linked to an extensive probe into his past and present activities. These developments suggest that authorities are drawing connections between Diddy's current legal troubles and unresolved questions from the past, including the unsolved assassination of Tupac Shakur. The raids, which have unearthed potential evidence of sex trafficking and substance-related offenses, have significantly damaged Diddy's public image, once that of a revered music mogul. The scope of allegations against Diddy is staggering. From out-of-court settlements with former partner R&B singer Cassie Ventura, over coercion claims to accusations of hosting illicit sex parties involving underage participants, the narrative unfolding around Diddy is alarmingly severe. Former associates like producer Rodney Lil Rod have come forward with their own distressing accounts of exploitation within Diddy's inner circle, suggesting a pattern of behavior that parallels the notorious activities of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Christina Corum, described as Diddy's Ghislaine Maxwell, is alleged to have played a crucial role in orchestrating this web of exploitation, managing the logistics of substance distribution and arranging questionable encounters, mirroring the modus operandi of Epstein and Maxwell. These allegations paint a grim picture of a hidden world of manipulation and abuse, thrusting Diddy into the center of a scandal that resonates with some of the most infamous criminal cases in recent memory. As the investigation continues to unfold, the implications for Diddy's legacy and his standing in the music industry are profound. The parallels with historical figures implicated in systemic abuse underscore the seriousness of the accusations and the potential for significant legal and societal repercussions. The music industry, along with the public, watches closely as each new development adds layers to an already complex and disturbing story. The unfolding legal drama surrounding Sean Diddy Combs represents a significant shift in the once seemingly untouchable mogul's trajectory. As federal investigators reportedly prepare a RICO case against him, primarily focusing on sex trafficking allegations, the gravity of the situation intensifies. Former federal prosecutor Nadia Shahada's remarks about the raids indicate that the evidence at hand could be substantial enough to support the initiation of serious criminal charges, underscoring the severity of Diddy's predicament. The potential application of RICO statutes suggests that investigators are looking at a broad array of activities that might extend beyond the immediate allegations to encompass a longer history of potential criminal conduct. This approach mirrors other high-profile cases, like that of R. Kelly, where a pattern of behavior over many years was meticulously pieced together to form a comprehensive case. Amidst this intensifying scrutiny, Diddy's public persona, as depicted on social media showcasing tranquil family life, contrasts sharply with the brewing storm. This calm facade raises questions about his defense strategy and how he plans to navigate the legal challenges he faces. I've never met Diddy a day in my life, but when you do wrong, <laughs> it comes back on you, so none of us should be surprised, all right? The dichotomy between his public and private ordeals highlights the complexities of managing such a high-profile and sensitive legal battle. Furthermore, the resurfacing of the Tupac Shakur assassination case in this context adds another layer of complexity. Reports suggest that information provided by Dwayne Keith, Keffy D. Davis, might have played a role in directing federal attention toward Diddy in relation to Shakur's murder. This aspect of the investigation could prove 
particularly damaging, with insiders speculating that it might be pivotal in leading to significant legal repercussions for Diddy. These developments suggest a convergence of Diddy's various legal issues, which could culminate in a dramatic and potentially devastating outcome for him. The focus on the Shakur case, amplified by the broader implications of the RICO investigation, could indeed be the factor that leads to significant prison time for Diddy. As the situation evolves, the stark contrast between Diddy's serene public appearances and the serious nature of the investigations he faces illustrates the precarious balance he must maintain. His every move is likely calculated. I'm vivacious, eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio part of a broader legal strategy to mitigate the impacts of these allegations. However, the potential for a storm of legal and public relations challenges looms large, threatening to overwhelm even the most carefully constructed defenses. As the saga surrounding Sean Diddy Combs intensifies, the shadow of Tupac Shakur's unsolved assassination continues to loom large over his empire. Eminem, a notable critic of Diddy within this narrative, strongly believes that the federal investigation will unearth significant evidence tying Diddy to the infamous crime. This belief is shared by several industry insiders who are keenly observing the potential repercussions these legal proceedings might have on the music industry's landscape. Public opinion on Diddy's situation is sharply divided. Some assert that Diddy's alleged criminal activities have spanned decades, and it's only a matter of time before the federal authorities conclusively act against him. A particular commenter noted, Homeboy has been engaging in these criminal activities for decades. It is only a matter of time before the federal authorities drop the hammer on him, and his attorneys won't be able to keep him out of prison. All the lifers in prison just can't wait until he gets there. On the other hand, many anticipate a drawn-out legal process, expecting that the authorities will thoroughly examine all aspects of the case before bringing bringing forth any charges. As one observer speculates, I don't think we are going to have any charges for him for a few months. I think they are going to wait until everything has been looked over with a fine tooth comb, and then they will slap a bunch of charges on him all at once. This cautious approach highlighted by fans reflects the complexity and seriousness of the federal investigation. The wide range of opinions among the public mirrors, the overall uncertainty surrounding Diddy's legal challenges, with many speculating about the potential scope and timing of possible charges. As we continue to monitor the twists and turns of Diddy's high-profile legal battle, we invite your insights on this matter. Do you think the recent raids will reveal conclusive evidence linking Diddy to Tupac's assassination, as Eminem suggests? Or will the legal proceedings unfold more gradually, with charges emerging over time as some fans anticipate? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates on this gripping celebrity legal saga.